How is it going? Welcome back to a brand new Minecraft tutorial. Today, we're going to be building a barn perfect for all of your animal storage and survival needs. Alrighty, so this barn is going to fit inside of a 10 by 12 block plot. As you can see, I've got one of those marked out in front of me. Materials we're going to be starting off with is some red concrete, some stripped oak wood, some birch slabs. We got some quartz pillars, some oak plants, and some iron trapdoors. As per usual, we're going to be using some more, but we'll get to those when we need them. First things first, on the realist we're going to grab the red concrete we're going to jump to a corner of our plot and we're going to place ourselves one and two a little something like this we're then going to jump ourselves one two three and four and place another one two red concrete just like so we're going to take this bag one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and we're going to bring it along one two three four five six and seven we're then going to connect this block to the first block we placed a little something like a soul we're now going to bring all of these blocks up by four in height so one two three and four making them five in height total now how you guys doing it has been a while since i did a tutorial so we're kind of starting off light i didn't want to jump into like a huge mega base because uh, my ability to speak on camera is probably not the same as it once was you may have noticed i uploaded a hardcore video the other day and it didn't do too well the reception for that uh, was pretty poor it's actually like the worst a video has ever done <laughs> that's okay that's okay we move so um if that's unlisted don't worry about it we're gonna get back to the tutorials i just kind of wanted to see if you guys uh would like that content but i don't think it actually went out to that many people which is uh kind of crazy we're then gonna be placing one two three and four red concrete to kind of fill in uh the top of the front entrance we're then gonna grab ourselves some birch wood slabs we're gonna jump to the back we're gonna place ourselves one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve I'm going to jump to this side. We're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then double this up as well. So you should kind of have this like little L shape going backwards. At the front, we're just going to place one, two, three, four, double it up. And then on the other side, we're going to place two rows of uh, birchwood slabs. And we should have this kind of two block gap in the middle going like this with two blocks either side. We're then going to jump one, two in, remove one block. And then on the other side, do exactly the same. So one, two in, and remove a block. Then gonna jump inside and grab ourselves some stripped oak wood. In this corner, we're gonna place one, two, three, four. We're gonna remove this birch slab and we're gonna place another one on top of five. We're then gonna do exactly the same in the other corner. One, two, three, and four. Remove this and then five. So you should have these two pillars kind of sitting at the back of the barn. We're now gonna grab our quartz pillars. We're gonna jump to the corner of our build on the right hand side. We're gonna place one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're then going to go over to the other side and do exactly the same. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Like at the front, we're going to go to the back and do exactly the same. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And once again, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now on these sides of our builds, we're going to leave the fronts. They don't need anything, but we're going to jump one, two, three, four, and five. And on the sixth block, we're going to place one. There should be five block uh, gap just here as well. We're going to bring this up. One, two, three, four, and five. So it's the same height as the other ones. Of course, we're going to jump to the other side because this build is pretty symmetrical. And one, two three four five and six perfect we're now going to grab ourselves some oak wood planks and place one two ooh, that's the wrong place two three four five and do exactly the same here one two three four and five and we can do the same on the other side how you guys been doing hopefully you've had um a fantastic week uh this is probably going to go up on a monday so fresh start of a new week hopefully it's going to go well iron trapdoors we're going to place one two three four five six seven and eight or something like this uh we're then going to jump over here and do exactly the same one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Like a soul. On the sides of the barn, we can place iron trapdoors under all of the oak planks that uh, we previously placed. A little something like this. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Now, let's jump to the front. We're now going to grab our red concrete once again. On top of the iron blocks, we're going to place one, two, and three. On the other side, one, two, and three. We're then going to bring this along. One, two, one, and two. And raise these two blocks by two. So one, and two one and two one two in the middle and two on top we should have this uh random shape with this little upside down t in the center we're gonna bring it along the bottom one two three four five and six and on these sides fill in these two little blocks leaving a two block gap we're then gonna jump one two up and fill in these two blocks as well so we should have a two by two window in the center of this kind of red uh weird roof shape thing going on at the back we're gonna do exactly the same and i mean exactly so i'm just gonna bring it on the bottom then going to uh, leave our little two block gap bang bring it up perfect we're gonna do one and two one and two fill these blocks in and then do it two along the top giving us the exact same shape now we're gonna jump over to the inside of the build and grab our stripped oak wood in this corner here we're gonna place one two 
and three in the other corner one two and three and at the back as well we can do exactly the same because like i said before this build are very symmetrical so everything that kind of happens on this side is most probably going to happen on this side not going to lie now we're going to jump in front of this and place one two three four and five and one two three four and five on the other side you guessed it one two three four five one two three four and five with our birch slabs we're going to place one two three and four and on the other side one two three and four stripped oak wood once again we're going to jump two blocks one two three one block one two three and another one block one two and three we're going to mimic this on the other side so uh two blocks one two three uh one one and we have our two blocks we're now going to go in and we're going to grab ourselves some oak wood stairs where they be hiding um i haven't played this game in a while there we go oak stairs perfect one two three four five and six all upside down a little something like this one two three four five and six and this is going to kind of be where our chests go up here and uh I like it. It's looking pretty good. Okay, now we're going to be working on the roof. For this, we're going to be using oak planks, oak stairs, some smooth quartz stairs, and some smooth quartz slabs. I try and make sure they're smooth quartz blocks just because if they're not, you can kind of see the lines and it looks a little messy. It can't be lying to you. We're going to grab the oak planks and on the top of this quartz pillar, we're going to place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Now we're going to grab our oak stairs and we're going to place 13 on the top of this. Pretty much anything that I say, the numbers are going to be exactly the same right here gonna grab oak planks place another row of these like a so and another row of oak wood stairs a little something like this we're now gonna grab ourselves some oak planks and on the second block in so leave this we're gonna place one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and of course 13 a little something like a so we can actually then go in and grab ourselves some uh petrified oak slabs it doesn't really matter i'm gonna grab the oak slabs just so i don't confuse you guys we're now gonna place these in front of this a little something like that so it's kind of like full block half slab on the top two blocks we're going to place one and two awkward slabs and bring them back another 12 blocks making them 13 in length let's do this one and two perfect we're now going to pretty much repeat this process on the other side so we're going to do our full oak blocks and then our oak stairs and bring it all the way to the top like we did on the other side and last but not least we're going to do our final row of oak wood uh planks and then in front of that we're going to use our slabs now next thing we're going to be doing is grabbing ourselves quartz stairs we're now going to jump to the quartz pillar just here and we're going to place ourselves an upside down quartz stair facing this way or something like that we're then going to place two quartz slabs and on top of this a normal facing quartz stair that kind of matches the planks next to it we're then going to place an upside down stair bang or something like this we're going to place ourselves two slabs and they stare facing the same way as the oak wood as you can see uh there is an emerging pattern you'll probably be able to figure it out we're then going to follow this with one slab to the right bring it up by one then going to bring a one two and then on top another one two giving us this we're now going to repeat this on the other side pretty much anywhere there's an awkward stair there's going to be a quartz stair kind of facing the exact same way so let's do our quartz slabs a little something like this we do our upside down one facing it this way another one bang and then on top quartz quartz and quartz this is what we got going from the front it's a pretty much nice design and then of course on the sides we're going to do another quartz stair like this kind of flicking it off at the ends or something like a soul we can then take this along at the side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and of course 14 and that's where this upside down stair on this side is gonna start so upside down stair and i'm gonna bring it along and meet these at the front we're now gonna do exactly what we did here on the back of the barn as well okay so the back is done and we can now go into our redstone section and grab ourselves some birchwood trapdoors we're gonna place one and two and three and four and we're gonna flick those up and down so they're looking like this next to kind of the window we're gonna go to the front of the house um and we're gonna do exactly the same did i say house i meant barn i guess you could live in this if you wanted to it actually be a pretty nice survival house um if that's what you were going for this is what we got going on we're now actually pretty much ready to jump on the inside before we add any interior design we have to do the floor for this i'm going to be using some dripstone blocks some podzole some coaster and some gravel this is kind of where you take things into your own hands this whole thing is going to be completely random just so you know um um, I kind of wanted to go with a randomized texture on the floor just to kind of give it that barn uh, look You know, it looks like someone kind of been treading on it and the animals have kind of been in and out of the place uh, We can remove this stuff at the front because it's not gonna be blue and white. Let me tell you um, I'm gonna grab some podzo and I'm just gonna start off one two and three and like I said, this is gonna have to be uh, Completely random. It really doesn't matter how you do this um, What really matters is that you kind of uh have a randomized texture that's what we are going for here so i'm gonna grab some podzo we're then gonna grab let's see some coarse dirt we're gonna go in and uh, add a bunch of that as well bang uh, let's do bang bang and like i said it's gonna be completely random that's uh, all i can really say about it 
um i don't want you guys to think too much about it just randomly start placing blocks um and then you know if you have to change it you have to change it you go in and change it afterwards uh let's do this bangs a little bit of gravel gravel um and then we're gonna add the dripstone i've never used dripstone before so this should be interesting i'm gonna add a little bit of that in there looking pretty good let's add some hmm, let's add some at the back here so and then uh we can just kind of go in randomly like i said it's got to be random because um it's kind of like you know nature i suppose uh let me go in and add a little bit more gravel uh like that maybe i think that looks good and like i said yours is going to be completely different at the front i'm just going to grab some more core stuff a little something like a soul um and then we need to add at the front here i'm going to do one two three a little something like that let's add some dirt um a little bit more gravel i guess uh let's do you here and you here then we're gonna actually add some path blocks too so let me grab a stone shovel i'm just gonna uh, place a dirt in there shovel you up or well, something like this bang uh let's do something like that maybe um it's kind of hard first time to get this so you're gonna want to just play around uh, until you're pretty much happy with it let's do you maybe something like that i, I don't know i'm probably gonna go like, tweak some things a little bit later on but i think for now that works pretty well we can also go around the edges um, and remove all of this kind of blue and white if you did place it if you didn't then you're not gonna have to do that but you know it's not actually gonna be in our build it's just kind of there to give you guys a uh reference on where the blocks we're gonna go so i'm gonna remove all of those now or something like this absolutely perfect we can now go on the inside and start with a little bit of interior okay so first we're gonna jump to the back wall it's gonna kind of be like our crafting and smelting station so let's do a crafting table or something like this and then a spruce trap door uh with a lantern on top give us some light wow that really does light the whole place up super quick um we're then going to grab ourselves a smoker bang we're gonna do a furnace um next to this a little blast furnace a little something like this we can now grab our usual furnace and place it a little something like that we're then gonna grab our uh, spruce trap door bang and on top of this place our stone cutter that's really cool i don't think i've actually ever used one of these i'm such a, a nerd when it comes to minecraft dude i don't know anything um we're then gonna place let's see we can do a little uh one and two spruce wood trap doors that look something like this and we're gonna grab ourselves our grindstone we're gonna place that in the corner just here a little something like that i like that and then we can also go in and grab uh what are we going to be needing maybe we grab the smithing table and i'm just gonna place that up top a little something like this i like that it's kind of random kind of funky um can we place on top of that i don't think we can uh hmm let's just see I'm actually just going to go in and grab ourselves. This may look a little weird to you guys, but it's going to turn out pretty good. Uh, trust me. Let's grab some splash water. We're going to place a campfire. I'm going to put that out like that. And this is kind of like a little pile of logs on top of that, which I think looks uh, pretty good. Can we actually place that there? That looks better. Definitely looks better. Okay, perfect. Now in front of the crafting table, I'm going to turn and place a uh, spruce wood trap door. Flick it up a little something like this. And we're going to place ourselves one, two, three on the end of this and flick up another little one at the top of this we're gonna make this a little table i'm gonna place another lantern on the end perfect we can also grab some maybe some sea pickles um and place them on the other side and just do like two of them maybe i like that perfect we can now go in and we're gonna do some sandstone smooth sandstone slab or something like this perfect and we can also go in and grab our shelves some spruce wood signs and we're gonna place that all the way around this um make a little chair that is in the wrong place buddy perfect next we're going to be adding our ladders because of course we're going to need these to get to our second floor so i'm going to place one two three and four i'm going to leave a block here just to kind of give them that little look like they're kind of hanging off the ground next i'm going to go in we're going to grab some chests we're going to do let's see one two three um and then we're going to just go four up so we're going to have a lot of storage in this place um i think that's going to be best on the other side i'm just going to replicate that and already you're gonna have so much storage this place is gonna be pretty sweet um we can then go in we're gonna grab ourselves some oak leaves and uh i'm just gonna use a barrel i think uh let me just do that bang perfect and on the other side we're gonna do another one um two oak leaves on top of that and then two oak leaves on top of that one that looks pretty sweet now in this next section i'm gonna grab some more uh spruce wood trap doors we're gonna do a little uh something like so we can then add some beehives because they kind of like storage units um which i really really like then gonna grab some barrels we're gonna do one barrel here we're gonna then do uh, let's do two barrels actually i'm gonna go in and grab ourselves a spruce trap door here and then kind of build ourselves uh, a little unit i'm gonna grab some more barrels i think and just kind of take them all the way up and then on this side i'm gonna do something like that maybe i think that works pretty well because then this kind of like it joins up and uh looks pretty sweet we can then go in and we can grab ourselves our creeper head because i try and place these in every single one of my builds i don't know if you guys notice that but we try we try we try we try now i'm going to add some spruce signs to some of these uh, to kind of make them look a little bit different and give them some texture i could also do the top one i guess 
or something like that. Now, on this other side, I'm just going to be boring. I'm just going to place a bunch more chests because you never know. There's going to be so much storage in this place, but it actually works out and looks really, really good. We could also go in and grab ourselves a bell and maybe, 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 maybe we could grab some paintings. Um, and I'm just going to randomly place some paintings a little something like this. And we have our bell. Where can we place this? Could we do this up here? Maybe no, because that's not a full block. Okay, maybe I'll save the bell. We just place it randomly on the ground. No, I'm joking. Uh, we'll, we'll get it in somewhere. We're going to grab our spruce trap doors and we're going to jump up to this section now. I'm going to place one, two, and three, four. Flick these up. Remove these bottom two. One, two, three, four. Flick these up. Remove these bottom two. At the sides. One, two, three, four, five. Flick them up, boys. And on the other side, we do exactly the same. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's in the wrong place. And uh, flick them up. So this is what we got from the upstairs so far. No, 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 no. On the upstairs, we're also going to do some more storage. I know, I know it's a lot of storage, but it makes it easier for me. Um, and it, it means the video isn't going to be 20 years long because I'm not trying to think of interior design ideas. Um, so <laughs> that's kind of my reasoning. We're going to do uh, one, two, three, four chests on this side. One, two, three, four on this chest. Uh, and we're going to mimic that on this side. A little something like a soul. Uh, perfect. Now in the middle, we could uh, maybe just do some... Ooh, that is not what I wanted to do. Uh, crafting tables. Not <laughs> crafting tables. Barrels. I'm going crazy. I am going crazy. Um, let me see. I'm going to do... Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Spruce signs. On the bottom ones perfect that is not a spruce sign i'm going crazy or something like this just kind of uh make them stand out a little bit next to the blocks next to them otherwise they're gonna look a little bit flat but this is what i got going on what do you guys think um we're then gonna go in and grab ourselves some oak wood trap doors and we can then place those uh one two three four five six seven eight nine we do exactly the same here nine all the way along or something like this uh we can then grab ourselves some leaves and we're gonna do hmm let me see here. Let's do one like that. Hang that down like this. Uh, and then do exactly the same here. We're going to do one here and hang that down. Just like that. I like it. I like it. Um, we can place, let's see, one here. Bang. Uh, maybe do a little two like this. Let's do that. Maybe. Perfect. And then over here, we're going to do it again. Bang. Hmm. I think I like it. We're going to grab ourselves some lanterns. I'm going to place one just here. Bang. And we're going to place one just here as well we're then going to grab ourselves some little blue it plants and some flower pots i'm going to go in and place those a little randomly up here as well let's do two up here we're going to do one bang bang and then i can grab let's see let's do an orange tulip and place that in the second one a little summit like this we can now go in we can grab ourselves some oakwood stairs perfect pick block i'm going to place those above this a little summit like that and we're also going to kind of flatten out this roof so i'm going to grab some full blocks of oak planks and just bring them all the way along. And I think, I think, I think, I think that's going to work really well. That's nice. That's nice. We're now actually going to cover up these on the ground though. I'm going to place a uh, block just here. I'm going to go to the back, cover these up because I just don't like the way they're kind of like showing. Um, I'm just going to place some randomly now just to kind of make it look like they're meant to be there. That one doesn't need to be there. I don't think. Uh, last thing we're going to do in here is grab our campfire. We're going to grab the water again. Uh, and I think that's where we're going to place those. We're going to splash them. Nice. And I'm going to do that again here, just because I like the way they look. Hmm. <laughs> Perfect. Now, as you can see, this is a pretty nice interior. There's so much storage and so much space in here that you could be using. So you don't actually have to copy what I'm doing. Um, but it's a look good. Now we got about our barn doors. So I'm going to grab some spruce wood trap doors. I'm going to jump on the inside and place ourselves one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we're going to flick these up. And I'm going to do exactly the same on the front of this. And we're basically doubling up this door because before it was a little 2D. Now it's kind of a little 3D and we have this little nook, which I think is perfect. We're going to turn. We're going to place one, two, three, four. Ooh, perfect. Uh, five, six, seven, and eight. And we're going to flick these up. And then we're going to jump to the other side of that. And of course, double it up like we did at the first door. And uh, these are going to be pretty nice barn doors. Nice. We're now going to grab ourselves some lanterns. I actually have one in here, so I don't need to go into my inventory. We're going to place them on all of the corners of the quartz stairs. Hang on like this. We're going to jump to the back and we're going to do exactly the same. Bang and bang. We're now actually going to go and add some trees around the side of our build. Now, for this, we're going to be using some, let me see, some birch fence. We're going to use some oak leaves and we're going to use some spruce leaves. In the middle, we're going to place it down. Bang. Perfect. Like so. Make a little T-shape with our oak leaves. Next to this, we're going to place ourselves on the front. Or something like this. And we can do one here as well. On top of this, we're going to add our oak leaf. Bang. Perfect. And we're going to do... <laughs> let's do you there. Perfect. Um, then we're going to do our spruce on top of this. 
put that and to the side as well we could even hmm, we could actually even break iron it doesn't matter too much this is kind of got to be random so uh try not to get too in your heads about this uh let's do you just there actually i'm gonna place that back i think that actually works pretty well i'm not gonna lie maybe one like this yeah i like that and even hmm, how am i gonna do this that, now i'm in my own head about this. <laughs> i said not to do it i said not to do it but it's gonna it's gonna happen you can't help it that looks good it's random it's nice um little tree going on i don't like that we're gonna have to remove that maybe something like soul uh low oh my god now i'm in my own head i said i wouldn't do it but hey look it is what it is I place that maybe place another one like so that works that actually works really nice now i'm gonna go ahead and copy this uh exactly the same in every single kind of other random area especially on the other side as well so we're gonna have one two three four trees in total and i'll see you back here in just a second bang perfect okay so as you can see trees are done i also added a few little plants and uh, grass at the bottom and i've been placing these little flowering azalea plants because they just look so 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 good i really really like them probably one of my favorite kind of new nature blocks uh but that is pretty much it for the barn guys i'm actually going to go around and do a little bit of decorating around the edges maybe add a little uh wheat filled just to kind of give you guys a rough idea of what aesthetic you could go for Alrighty, we are done and this barn looks absolutely amazing and like a little farm setting we got a little scarecrow over there a little wheat build and then i kind of surrounded the place uh with trees but uh yeah what do you guys think hopefully you guys enjoyed it and you followed along and built yourselves uh, an amazing little barn i did do a barn similar to this same pretty much design uh but it was kind of wood colors and i really wanted to do this kind of red and white classic uh kind of farmhouse barn style with that design so hopefully you guys have enjoyed that um and have this in your survival world so that is it guys for this video as per usual please leave a like it really does help out the video and subscribe with notifications turned on because youtube uh, <laughs> uh and i will see you in my next video see you guys